Hey, what's up fragrance community, Rise Frakes 34. You guys knew that I was gonna be reviewing this, of course, the new, the latest uh, from Raja Dove. This one's 1819. This actually celebrates the fifth year of Raja Dove Boutique being in Burlington, um, Burlington Arcade. So, but guys, 2020 release. I've been wearing this, oh my gosh, probably for almost two, three weeks now, really trying to get a good feel for it. It's been great and warm here, um, very hot. Still summer, of course, and um, you know, so so this works really, really well in that in, in those uh, in, in the really in the nice warmer months. But guys, getting on with this, I don't want to make this too too long and, and you know dragged out a little bit, but I'm going to do the best I can here. Um, the price of these are right around three hundred seventy-seven dollars USA dollars, and I think two ninety-five euro. So uh, you can get it at right at the boutique. I think that's the only place you can get it. Can't, it's an exclusive to the boutique, of course, uh, but they ship it. I had mine shipped within two days, so I mean, it's amazing. The as soon as you order it, it's within two three days. You're you're there, you know, and it's it's there. So, but uh, getting on with the fragrance real quick, the notes uh, as Raja Dove does always. The notes uh, there's a lot of not a note, notes in this one. So, uh, at the top you have grapefruit, lime, mandarin, orange. Uh, bitter orange and mint and then there's really no middle notes. I believe I looked on Fragrantica um, Perfumo all, all that and nothing um, nothing gives you those so then the base notes are going to be ginger cinnamon cumin Saffron patchouli oak moss rum you have tobacco cedar cashmere wood benzoin vanilla labdanum ab ambergris and musk so all familiar notes in this uh, it's amazing like I said how he can do so many beautiful fragrances that really turn into something special with all these crazy notes going on. And a lot of times I believe the quality is there so you can pick out certain notes. A lot of fragrances, you know, there's a lot of notes in there but you can only pick out like two or three dominant notes. Uh, this one, man, it is awesome. You know, I get the first initial blast, uh, you just get this really, really bright opening, uh, citrusy. Um, there's what, What's nice about this one, it's a cooling effect so there's a mint in here and it's just, that's what I really love about it because you do have that mandarin orange. It's very orangey, minty, and citrusy. You do get some grapefruit in there as well. Uh, guys, I wish this lasted longer because it does it does fade away quickly, about 15, 20 minutes. Now again, it, it does not, you know, it's still there a little bit. You do still get the, some citrusiness in there. Um, it's still bright in a way, but it does dry down uh, towards the middle of it you do start getting the sweetness of it. And I know, um, you know, there's some sweet uh, patchouli in there. You kind of get, I don't want to say it, it smells anything like Ultra Zest, but I kind of think about that when you do get the oranginess in there, a little bit of the vanilla patchouli, you kind of have that Mugle Ultra Zest kind of feeling going on. But again, please don't don't take that like it's an Ultra Zest fragrance. Um, not that it would be a bad thing, because I love Ultra Zest, but it, it goes in so many different different angles and there's a lot more to it in the dry down than just an Ultra Zest. So I don't want to compare it to that too much. But um, you do start getting that sweetness in there. I know there's some benzoin, patchouli, like I said, vanilla. Uh, you also even get a little hint, not much at all. I, I barely detect it, but when you really, really sniff for it, you can get a little bit of tobacco in there, which I really, really love. Um, and cashmere wood is always a good one. You do get some of that ambergris. It does get a little bit uh, more, I don't really want to say salty, but you can kind of tell there's ambergris in there. And uh, it, it just really, really, really well balanced fragrance. Again, it's very bright in the opening, but it turns into something really special. Uh, there's also a rum note in here too. So it does kind of, you know, with the rum, vanilla, benzoin, saffron, you get kind of all this really, really nice booziness to it as well. So it's a really nice, sweet boozy. Again, there's still that hint of that, uh, that freshness from that mint and, and a lot of those great citruses going on in there uh, with the grapefruit, of course, and, and all that. So, but guys, excellent uh, fragrance. A uh, couple things I, I written down, like I said, it's, um, you do have uh, a lime note in there too. And that's, it's, it's not like a bitter uh, sharpness, but it's, um, it's more like a fresh, uh, minty brightness to it. But just, a, just an excellent all around uh, fragrance. I do wish it would perform better, but again, this is one where you will you'll smell it on on yourself right away. I mean, it's going to project really really well for the good 45 minutes to an hour, and then it, then it just kind of gets slow, you know, it gets close to the skin, and and that's one thing. Maybe in a couple of years this will perform a little bit better. It kind of has to uh, 
you know, kind of has to uh, age in its bottle there for a little while. I know kind of like Raja fragrances are kind of like wine, you know, the, the older they get, the crazy performance, um, you know, comes up. Because I know a lot of the alcohol dissipates and stuff and, and all that stuff. So, but this is just an excellent, easy reach, great fragrance all around. Um, you can, it can be dressed up, dressed down. There is a little bit of classiness to it towards the end. Like I said, it's, and I don't want to say it's masculine or feminine. I think it's right in between. It gets sweet enough and like sweet woody and, um, and you still have that rum and, you know, the sweetness and the freshness. Uh, of it to, to so a female could wear it and uh, and definitely a male of course I, I, I really enjoy this fragrance uh, but getting on with performance like I said you get uh, a good probably about an hour hour and a half of good projection you'll still smell it uh, but it'll kind of it'll it will project pretty good uh, and then it gets really close you know it gets close to the skin again when you go right up to it and smell you're gonna you're gonna smell it quite a bit and, and that's the thing too I want to say with longevity is a tough one with this one because you know, after like, you know, three, four hours, you really can't detect it, but you will walk past someone and they'll be like, oh wow, you smell pretty good. Or, you know, what are you wearing or whatever that it, that case may be. So, um, you know, it, cause that, that's what's so weird. I, I wore it the other day and it was like four hours in and then I went into the office and they're like, geez, you, uh, you got some fragrance on today, you know? And they, they, they asked me what it was and all that too. So again, it, the ambergris, there's a lot of the, the notes kind of in there that might just play uh, a little softer. But, um, but people will still detect it, you know, when they do get close enough to you. So, but excellent uh, all around. I love the smell of it. Like I said, it's an easy, easy reach. It's nothing like, you know, Amber Oud or uh, Diaglove or, you know, a lot of his great, great, you know, powerful, just crazy fragrances. It's very, um, it's an easy reach. It's like Elysium and, you know, uh, like some of his, uh, the perfume versions um, or cologne versions, I should say, you know, so. Again, uh, to you guys, I don't know, you know, if, if it's worth the money. I love the bottle. I love, uh, let's get into that real quick too. Uh, the bottle, the box is really nice. Box is the same, same, um, same Raja box as usual, but you do have this really cool, um, it's kind of like a nice inlay right there of the silk. You know, he always does the silk right there, but it's really neat how it's uh, representing, I believe, the Burlington, um, you know, boutique. And it is beautiful in there, guys. Uh, I've never been, but obviously online, you can see, you can see um, just how gorgeous it is with all the chandeliers, and it is just really, really, um, really, really a beautiful place. I would, I would love to go there and and shop around and just look. I mean, I would, um, I would, uh, I would have a lot of fun doing that. So, uh, and then the bottle, of course, I believe it has the uh, like the amber oud cap on it. Well, actually, it's a little bit lighter, but. Uh, this one is like the um, the the, fra the bottle is is like uh, it's 100 mil of course, but the caps are like the um, the Saudi Arabia you know the the cutter and, and things like that too. So spray is always great. Beautiful, beautiful spray. If we can get in there, it's all controlled. You can uh, you can really go you know you push all the way down. It really gives you that good um, sh you know really good mist. And guys, uh, like I said, th this opening is absolutely gorgeous, and um, it's it's worth it. You know, uh, if you're if you're doing something for a few hours and you really want to smell good, again, it's not going to be a, a 12 hour. Th you know, and that's one thing I want to say too. It's it's tough because I spray it on my hand, and that's the way I do my testing a lot. And sometimes I, I wash my. I, I did yesterday just to really get a good feel for it. I had off, of course, but. Um, you know, I washed my hands a couple times and when I went to bed, I still, you still detect it on there. And that was after like 10 hours. So again, if you're really putting your nose up against your skin, you're going to smell it. So I don't, longevity is tough. Like I said, um, you know, if you get under the sheets with someone at night and you're getting close, you're probably going to smell it after 10, 12 hours, you know, but, um, but to just be out in public or be out walking around doing your thing, you got to get really, really close to, to smell it. So. But, um, so again, very tricky. Some of you, I think this will last a good eight, 10 hours. Some of you might say three to four, very tricky with Raj, but I'm anxious to see in the next, you know, year or two, what my bottle does. I, I will wear it, but it's, uh, it's amazing how these fragrances do get a little bit more uh, potent after the years go by, you know, just like the, the typical Aventuses and, you know, all the, all the fragrances that are, you know, not, you know, a hundred years old, but man, 20, 25 years old. 10 years old a lot of them just really really shine now you know with that and a lot of you know like uh like like raja says it's they are kind of like in in the wine category you know the the older they get the more beautiful and 
and uh, robust and just, um, you know, the, the quality really shines through because you're not getting a lot of that alcohol. Now you're getting all that, the really good notes. But guys, thank you so much for, for joining me for, the, for this review. And uh, hopefully I hit all, this, all the right spots. Uh, it'd be great to get an atomizer. That's what's really nice now at the Raja site. You can get those beautiful atomizers, 7.5 milliliter atomizers, to really test it out and see what you think first. You know, it's a lot nicer to spend, you know, 75 to 100, $125 on that and really get a lot of nice wares out of it than splurging on the bottle. Um, me, of course, I'm a collector and I love, I love the Raja bottles. I just love the brand. I think they're just so smooth. Something about, you know, the Raja fragrances are just silky smooth and um you know again again a lot of people question you know does raja create these and all that you know raja dove worked with guerlain for a lot of years and a great great perfumer so yes you know he is he's creating these i'm sure maybe with some help but he's um you know he's just a I don't know, he's just a class act too, just just a gem of a guy so but guys um 1819 hopefully you guys can get your hands on it and uh, thank you so much again for, for watching my videos. Uh, like I said, I got these lists that I want to try and get done. It's just so hard with time and, and stuff like that. But thanks for always joining me on my, on my, uh, on my channel. It means, means a lot. So, guys, hope all is well. Stay safe out there. I love you guys. And um, that's it. Talk to you guys soon.